Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Matt Brooks. Well, let's start off with some good news. The snowfall we had yesterday and Monday is pushed off to the east, and we're actually seeing some clear sky over the Wabash Valley. Unfortunately, we'll see a few more clouds moving in, and you can see the snowfall just starting to make its way over western Illinois. That is going to skirt us to the southwest. Really not going to get in on that, except if you live around areas around Effingham and Flora, you might have some flurries later on this afternoon and into the evening, but even then, they're not even expecting a whole lot of snowfall there. But what we are keeping an eye on is the cold weather today. Temperatures are only in the teens and they will struggle to break out of the teens headed into this afternoon. Could have a few 20s thrown in there, but the wind chills tonight will certainly be something to keep an eye on. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Friday is looking like the next, next best chance to see a little bit of light snowfall. Not a whole lot of snow at this point. Looks like amounts will stay under an inch. That's definitely some good news. And for this weekend, looks like it's going to be frigid once again for our Saturday. Temperatures could be stuck in the teens once again. I'll show you the numbers in just a minute here, but let's talk about the winds. They're actually starting to calm down a little bit currently, kind of out of the west and out of the west-northwest. But for this afternoon, they'll range anywhere from about 5 to 15 miles per hour, and wind chills will only be in the upper single digits. And currently, they are above zero. That's definitely some good news. Feels like four above in Terre Haute, only about two above in Paris. You'll still need perhaps the hat, the gloves, maybe even a nice scarf as you head out for lunch or head home from work. It is going to be cold. You'll feel it. The temperatures right now are in the upper teens. That's pretty good news as well. 20 degrees currently in Flora, 16 in Terre Haute. Like I mentioned, I think most of us will be in the upper teens and lower 20s with some of that sunshine. But once those clouds start to move in, it will feel certainly a little bit colder for tonight. Temperatures will dip into the upper single digits, around 8 degrees in Terre Haute, 9 in KZ, 10 degrees in Robinson to start off tomorrow morning. But the wind chill values will dip slightly below zero, anywhere from about perhaps 5 below to around zero. So I wouldn't be surprised if there were a few school delays. Of course, you can get that information at WTHITV.com. And a look at the big weather situation, showing a stationary front sending this moisture, the snowfall just off to our southwest. Behind it, we do have some high pressure that'll quickly move through, giving us some sunshine on our Thursday. That's great news. I could definitely use a little bit more of that. I don't know about you. We'll kind of track the clouds here by looking at Futurecast. We'll start off one o'clock Eastern time this afternoon, seeing plenty of sunshine for the Wabash Valley. But I think by this evening, that's when a few more clouds are going to start to move through. Most of the snow, like I mentioned, staying off to our southwest. That's Definitely great news. We don't need any more of that. The roads are still pretty slick from some of the snowfall that we still have. And by tomorrow afternoon, we're looking at wall to wall sunshine. But by tomorrow evening, that's when we'll see the clouds return ahead of some snowfall that we could see by Friday morning and into the early afternoon. So for today, around 20 degrees, some of us could be stuck in the upper teens. So be prepared for that this afternoon. But if you're well dressed, shouldn't be much of a problem tonight. Temperatures around 8 degrees, the wind chill around minus 1, but I think we could see wind chill values around 5 below if those winds do start to pick up once more. And for your Storm Team 10 7-day forecast, unfortunately, it's going to be cold for the next couple of days and into the weekend. Only in the 20s for highs tomorrow and Friday. I think Friday during the morning and afternoon is the best chance to see some light snowfall. Saturday, another cold blast of air moves and temperatures only in the upper teens at this point, around 18 degrees. Sunday night, we could see our next chance of snowfall finally getting above freezing by Monday.